So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So Friday, as I was on my way to the bank to go make a deposit, I get a call from the homie Thino. And he's calling me because he recently got an email from someone who was seeking to know whether or not the paperwork that I put out there on Cricket from Chronicles and what I've been saying about him, if, if whether or not Thino had sent that paperwork and all that was true. So, of course, whoever it is on the other end of that, I'm not going to say no names. We don't know. Um, there is a name on it, but I won't say. Um, this person claims to have been a subscriber a day one who's donated money and all this to the cause and feels betrayed by all the lies and all the deception and deceit. So they went to Thino for a receipt, for some receipts. And Thino stamped every bit of that. Now, this person... Then, this person then offers names, numbers, and addresses involving Cricket and others. Claims to know him well, claims to know so much about him. Now, because... There's no way of knowing what that's all about. You know, if it's just truly a, a, a subscriber who's scorned by, you know, the fact that, um, you know, he's been lied to, I understand. But let me be clear about something. None of us seek no harm to him. We have no ill will towards him. The problem that all of us have had all along is that he's been lying all along. Do you understand that? We don't care about him. No one thinks about him. He put himself in a position to be seen, to be taken note of because he wanted the smoke. He wanted the clout. He wanted the attention. He wanted to do some good as he claims. But in the process of doing so, he lied and cheated and stole and there was people who had watched long enough who were fed up. And that's all it's about. If you, if, you, if you make a decision to change your life and you do something so drastic that you have to make such sacrifices in life as to go into the Federal Witness Protection Program, then you should not be seen in this light. It is a shining light that's going to that's going to draw all attention to you. And all I ever did was myself was corrected an error. That was it. There was no disrespect or none of that. I didn't know him. I don't know him. Just because he's online and there's this whatever, I don't know him. In spite of the fact that, you know, with all that's been said and done by him and from all them on all of them who subscribe to his channel and follow him. After all of that, those attempts at putting my life at risk by saying and doing that. This didn't come out because of that. It didn't have to. From the very beginning, I said that I didn't want to do it. But a motherfucker couldn't come clean. Still can't face the facts. But none of us don't care. The homie's done. He's got 20 plus years into that. You know, this is a far gone conclusion. This is the consequences with repercussions. This is... This is Everyone's accepted their fate in that regard. 
But to expose oneself in the fashion that he does puts him at risk for those who were still there, active, who he's taunting by playing these games online. He's taunting those people who are active, not those who were done. The rest don't care about him. Not at all. This guy thinks too much of himself, in fact. This is why we've come to this. Because he's been led to believe a lie, his own lie first. And he couldn't stand correction when I brought it forth. It was with all due respect that I corrected the story. And then, and then we get led to a point where my home is getting an email and inquiring about this and people willing to sacrifice this fool over it. I pray he sees the light. I pray for my enemies. If they're an enemy to me, I don't have any. I bless those that curse me. Because I am a blessing indeed to have life today, thank God. So, so everyone understands that. We don't care, dude. We only care that people know the truth. That people cease to believe a lie. Because it's gone on long enough. Spreading lies and about people and not wanting to ever apologize. You're going to sit there and lie and never apologize to none of us. Not even, not even one's own viewing audience has he stopped to apologize for all of the lies. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace and I'm out.